right. Advent of code, day six. What? Oh, this is the whole thing. Okay. Um, I think it's just two lines. I got so confused by that. I thought my script wasn't working. Okay, and what does it want? Farther in each race than the current record holder. Okay. Three races. Starting speed. Hold on the button, increase by one. Oh, I see. Um, the number of ways you can beat the record. Okay, so what we care about is, um, Okay. Uh, so if we hold it down for N, and then the question is how long it takes us to go D. Um, and basically, uh, um, hold on for one, for six milliseconds. Oh, I see. You can. Ah, my, my bad. So, but it doesn't like actually go. You never let go of the button. It, oh, it can't move until you let go of the button. Oh, okay. Um, so basically then, um, oh, it's like the number of ways, okay. This is going to be time and distance. And given a certain distance, um, wait, I think it's just like distance. No. Um, this is silly. Um, so at most, we can hold it this many times, or we can hold it between one and this many milliseconds. Um, we definitely can't hold it for all of them. Um, so let's get the ways. And then if, so if we hold it for this many milliseconds, then the time that we take is, so our speed will be h, um, and we'll have ti minus h time to go. And the question is if that gets us at least distance. Um, do we need to beat the record? We need to beat the record, then really the question is um, times minus one. Oh, you need to go farther in each race. Oh, your goal is to get max distance. Okay, so this is the time that we have. Um, and the question is if this is larger than di, uh, then this. Wank 179, okay, wow, it was really slow there. It's really only one race. Oh. Uh, now we have a quadratic, we want to know where the zero is, right? That's basically it, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, so. Oh, I'm just gonna do it here. Um, time. Okay. And the question is, what are the zeros of this? Um, di is going to be greater than zero. So when is it equal to zero? Um, 
Oh no. Um, I think we want to find the exact roots and then, yeah, okay. Um, what is this? Oh my God, I'm so slow today. Um, and then plus, yes, plus H times TI minus DI. Uh, this is probably just faster, right? Um, wait, what? Uh, oh, sorry, H should be, H is our X. Um, so I think our coefficients are minus one uh, TI, which is just T, and then minus D. Um, actually, these online formulas might not, not, not even work. It's minus one. Let's see if they work. Uh, okay, so these give us zero. So I think it should be um, 4284300. Uh, those are both zero, so we actually want the number in between, um, which is going to be this minus one, I believe. No. <laughs> um, okay. I did read this right, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, wait. Yeah, which becomes this. Did I type the numbers in wrong? Four, two, eight. That would be it's very sad. Um, these roots both, let me just test it. Um, and then, oh, that is not zero. What did I do wrong? Oh, did it, did it float round? Oh, no. Um, okay. Oh no. Uh, what is the quadratic formula? <laughs> Here it is. Um, okay, so I just need to compute the square root. Um, a is minus one, b is equal to, um, b is just t, c is mm, minus d. Okay, um, b times b minus four times a times c. And then now we need to find the square root of this. Uh, I'm just going to binary search it because uh, I don't think I have. There's no way that this gives me an exact number. Does it? Oh, it does. This is not that big. This number's not that big. Um, okay. Minus b plus this over 2 times a. Um, and I think it's. Okay, these are my roots. So I think from here to here, inclusive. Um, and since these are inclusive, um, this one, I think this is my new answer. Oh, rank 636. I was really slow there. This is just a pure math problem. That's, that's kind of sad that I was so slow. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> I fell all the way to sixth on the global leaderboard. It's kind of sad, uh, but I guess it's a pretty close, pretty close to people ahead of me. How fast do people do that? I mean, it was pure math. How fast did I do it? Oh, wow. It's already eight minutes after. I was really struggling here, man. Okay. This formula burned me. <laughs> These are like close to the real roots, aren't they? But they're not actually, I probably should have seen the zeros and gone and realized that this is questionable. Um, what the? This, is this just rendering weird? Surely. Well, e either way, this online formula does not, did not work very well. Um, man. This is like too big to for loop. Yeah. I I'm just wondering if everyone is just much faster at math than, than me or, um, or what happened here. But, uh, yeah, I feel like five minutes is not actually super fast. Um, three minutes of the first part. What was the first part? Oh, I was just, yeah, I did feel like I was going really slow in the first part too. Um, although I guess comparatively I was closer to the leaderboard in the first part. Oh man, that's pretty sad. This is like my worst day yet. Even worse than the day that I slept through Advent of Code. So that's pretty sad. Man. Oh, well, 
Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll quickly explain the problem today. Um, yeah, so you have a bunch of, the first part, you have a bunch of these, these are like races. Um, and the idea is that you can, so this is like a race where someone had 48 seconds, 48 milliseconds, and the distance they went was 261. Um, and what you can do to like go some distance is you can spend X seconds charging up, um, X milliseconds were spent charging up and you like increase your speed, excuse me, you increase your speed by like one millimeter per, per millisecond uh, that you charge. Um, so if you charge for like six seconds, then your speed is like six millimeters per second. Uh, and then you can spend the rest of the time just going at that speed. And the question is like, do you end up at a higher distance? And the first part is just like, how many different ways are there that you can beat the record? So there's like some lower number that it, that you can beat the record with. So in this example, if you spent one second charging, that wouldn't be enough to actually beat the record because you would spend one second charging and then 47 going, you only go distance 47. But you could very easily spend 10 seconds charging and then you have 38 seconds to go at a speed of 10 and you get 380. Uh, but you also couldn't spend, um, you couldn't spend, for instance, uh, 45 seconds charging because then you'd be going 45 milliseconds, millimeters per millisecond, uh, but only have three seconds left, and you would only manage to make it uh, 135 distance. So this is like a quadratic. Um, I mean, this is the formula. And yeah, basically for the first part, you can literally just check the whole range and just see like what numbers satisfy it. Um, and it just asks you for the product of these for all these races, all four of these races. Um, it's fairly straightforward, I think, once you've interpreted the problem. Uh, and then part two basically says, okay, well, actually this is just one, one race. Um, the spaces you should like ignore. Um, and now how many ways are there to beat this one? And this time the numbers are, the numbers are large enough. That you can't just do a for loop. Um, but again, it's a quadratic, so you could just solve exactly for the roots. And once you know where the roots are, then you can, um, you can figure out how many numbers are in between. Um, so the way that I first tried that is, quadratic formula calculator. Uh, this did not work because of some like floating point rounding the website. Uh, eventually I just did the quadratic formula myself, but um, one, yeah, I wasted time with this too. Um, I'm used to doing like a lot of uh, math for cryptography um, and like cybersecurity contest type stuff where you work with very, very large numbers and you want to compute integer square roots exactly. And in those settings, actually doing like raising it to the power of 0.5 is not, does not give you an exact answer because your integers are so large that casting them to floating point means that you lose too much precision. Um, so you don't, you don't actually get the exact answer by truncating. For some reason I saw this number and was like, oh, I need to do integer square root, um, which is where you like binary search to figure out what the square root is. Uh, this is just not that big of a number actually. And <laughs> You can actually just do it, and then this is the, your square root. Um, oh, I guess I had a slight, eh, I, I, I guess it wouldn't matter. I was gonna say I had a slight bug here because I sort of truncated this square root. Um, I didn't actually want the integer square root now that I think about it, because what I wanted to find was the exact roots. Um, but anyways, um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and like put this into code. I started writing it like live in this thing. Um, in the interactive terminal, I'm not really sure why. Uh, I just felt like it'd be faster. Uh, but we can do this, um, and then oops. and then the formula. This is always minus one. B is always going to be what did I say it was? T. Um, and then C is always minus D. And then uh, one. And root two is minus this. And root one, root two. Yeah, um, I mean, this didn't change as expected. 
just because like being off by 0.5 doesn't matter when you're dividing by 2a and a is a is like 2. Um, I mean, it, it could matter if either of these two answers were like closer, but uh, they are closer to a whole number, but they are in fact not, because all we care about is whole numbers here. And basically the idea is we have these two roots and these aren't like actual amounts of time you could charge up for, but if you did charge up for this amount of time, then you would exactly match the distance. So that clearly means that um, since these are two roots and this quadratic is, um, uh, I'm trying to remember the word, um, concave, it like faces down, you know that in between these two roots is positive. So this number must be enough to win. Um, and then likewise, this number must be enough to win. But any number like past these, you'll like cross zero. So now it's, you, you cannot actually be the distance. Um, so the way that you express this is going to be uh, root one dot seal, uh, or do I have math imported? Oh, I don't. My imports don't, don't have math in them. It's weird. I need to fix my, my AOC tools imports. These don't actually have a whole lot of useful things in them. Finding like, it, it, well, I guess I was gonna say integer square root would have been useful, but I didn't actually need integer square root, um, so. Uh, anyways, and then let's see, uh, where's it going with this? Seal root one, and then four root two minus seal plus one. This is this answer, and then this is part one. Cool, now I just have it all in code, which is nice. Yep, and this still matches. Cool. Well, yep, that is day six of Average of Code. That's all I got for today. See you tomorrow.